Hey Pisces, Jay here with your Aquarius new moon that is happening on February 9th at 2.59 Pacific Standard Time. I have a couple insights for you here, Pisces, before we get into your reading. Spirit is, uh, is delivering this, these messages to you. Spirit is saying, don't be afraid of failure. Get out there and do it. You're the strongest person I know. But don't fear facing your weakest moments head on. Your patience is bringing in abundant blessings just a little while longer, is what Spirit is saying. Take care of your physical body and mindset. If you become ill, such as a cold or a flu, it's your body's way of saying, you've been neglecting me. Self-love and self-care should be your best friend during this month. And I'm going to pull a self-care card for you to get this reading started. Let's see what comes up for you here, Pisces, for this new moon in Aquarius. One message for Pisces, please. See, we have drink tea. Okay, so maybe your body is needing the herbs, the nutrients, whatever tea is providing, the comfort, the soothing, whether it's soothing your throat if you are experiencing a cold or flu, some sort of illness, um, inflammation in your belly, or you're just feeling cold in general, drink some tea. But I think the benefits of this, um, <clears throat> what the benefits are besides the herbs and the soothing and the comfort this is also quiet time with yourself as well. One thing I like to do is I like to have tea as well. I don't do caffeine because I'm allergic to caffeine, but um, I like to add a little bit of oat milk, O-A-T, oat milk into my tea with some honey. And it's the best, the best experience. I really feel like I'm on another planet when I'm having my tea. I know it's an English style. It's kind of how they do it in England. But it is so delicious. So drinking tea. And I'm looking at the number 21 here. And it, it breaks down to a number three. And that reminds me of creativity. That also reminds me of connecting to yourself. So during this time, it's not just about sipping your tea. It's drinking your tea with intention. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are you experiencing? What are you creating for this new vision on this journey that you have? that you're um, on that you're that you're on okay so remember don't be afraid of failure get out there and do it and you're you're the strongest person I know but don't fear facing your weakest moments head on your patience is bringing in abundant blessings just a little while longer okay so if you have been waiting blessings are on the way but take time for self-love and self-care okay Pisces so that is your sacred self-care pack for the month. Let's hop into your new moon reading here. We're going to get five five oracle cards out. I'm working with my moonology deck since it is appropriate because we are in a new moon state, stage, phase, which is a, no, a good time for you to set your intentions, goals, reevaluate some of your goals, and you may want to revamp those. Um, but this is a good time to set something new, okay? So the new moon is bringing you, <coughs> excuse me, showing the world the real you. So that's what that's what this this moon is bringing you with really stepping outside of your comfort your comfort zone. For some of you, you're just ready to shine like the star that you're that you are. You're pouring out a lot. You're pouring into um, the things that you love, whether that is spending time with family or building up your business, rebranding your business, rebranding yourself. Pouring into your job, making money, um, pouring into your, you know, so your partner. I was going to say soulmate. Some of you are with your soulmate, but pouring into that. So that is what's bringing. That's that's what the new moon is bringing you. Is you you really showcasing your authentic self during this time here? I like that energy for you. I absolutely love that energy for you here, Pisces. Um, actually, let's put this in the center so we remember to drink tea. That is very important. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's pull some more cards. Your energy during this new moon phase is asking yourself, what do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? Some of you, it is fear. 
because that's the collective message that I'm getting as I tuned into your energy here, Pisces, is to let go of the fear. Let go of the fear of failure so that you can um, face, you can get out of your own way first off. Um, but you, your guides are asking you to get out there and do it. So that is what is your energy is um, going to be during this new moon phase is releasing things people, places, things that no longer serve you. Some of you have already been in this state as well. And some of you are um, releasing the residual energy. And most of you are just releasing fear of really moving forward because there are some beautiful things that are in store for you, Pisces. All right. What you need to open yourself up to is the new start that is coming. Look at that. New moon. Okay. This ain't lying. It's not lying. <laughs> Okay, the new moon, a, a new start is coming. That is what you need to open yourself up to. No more living in fear. No more living in this space of not fully showcasing who you are, the real you, and what you are about, and how much love you have to offer, and the beautiful advice you have to give, and the love that you give this planet here, Pisces. A new start is coming, so this is what you need to open yourself up to, knowing that change is on the horizon for you, okay? Love this for you, Pisces. All right. Communication is key. This is what wants to manifest you communicating. Some of you are communicating at work. Some of you are starting a partnership. Some of you have are building a team. This is communication is what it's all about. This is this is something that wants to manifest within you is more communication to open up to your truths. Because I feel like as I'm looking at both faces, there's you know that dual energy, um, this dual energy energy that Gemini possesses. But I do feel like there's the Pisces that puts on the boss hat and then the Pisces that does everything else. Although there are so many facets to Pisces, I feel like there's a dual energy that you're operating in. And this is definitely what's wanting to manifest within you um, is showcasing all of that. Remember, showcasing, showing the, the world, the real you. That's what this new moon is bringing you. So this is what you're manifesting. It's more communication. Love it. All right. And last card here, and then we're going to hop into some tarot. You can best focus your intentions by knowing that your hard work is paying off. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this, Pisces. That's how you know that you can, you can best focus your intentions knowing that your hard work is paying off, okay? That is beyond self-explanatory at this point okay so let's pull some tarot around each of these and see what is coming up for you my dears all right so what's this new moon bringing you pisces showing the world the real you that's for sure we have the four of cups the bottom of the deck we have the five of pentacles so something that you hadn't seen before i do feel like is revealed i feel like there is um there's an understanding, there's a clear understanding, a clear direction, something that you've been fearing, something that you have been holding on to. I, I do feel like whatever this is that left you in this position of feeling down and out and feeling like you've lost, lost out on opportunities, lost people in your life. I do feel like this was all and this was all divinely guided for you, Pisces, with this four of cups. Look at the sun. Because on the other side of that is optimism, it's happiness and joy and bringing in confidence. So look at you getting on your horse and riding away in the sunset here. Um, I'm, I'm also uh, hearing connecting with the stone citrine. Citrine is a stone that is about abundance. This could also be connected to your solar plexus as well, where it's about confidence and esteem and creativity. But I'm feeling like as I'm looking at this sun card, some of these, uh, the rays here, in this card remind me of um, a tourmalated citrine 
So working with citrine during this new moon phase is bringing in abundance, prosperity. That is what citrine is all about. Um, obviously, there are more uh, characteristics for that stone, but this is what it feels like. Bringing in prosperity and abundance, showing the world the real you. This is what the new moon is bringing in for you. Letting go of what was in the past really seeing things for what they are, knowing that spirit has your back. And as long as you're tuning in, tapping in, engulfing yourself in self-care and self-love, there is opportunities for you to see beyond your circ your current circumstances because some of you may be experiencing this loss financially or this could just be people in your life. You could have lost a job. Whatever this is, lost family members through to, to death or just disconnect, but I do feel like that is all falling away. Spirit is telling me right now that this was destined to happen. This this was destined to happen in order for you to clear out this new space and open up this new path to this sun, to you shining brightly. Look at that. To you shining brightly, showing the world the real you. So that is what the new moon is bringing you here, Pisces. Love this energy. Let's see what your energy is during this new moon. We did put, what do you need to release? What does Pisces need to release? We have the Eight of Cups and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So you need to let go of emotions and people who are no longer aligning with who you are and where you're going. Okay, and I, I, I definitely feel like I'm looking at this eight of cups and I'm looking how he's walking through such a narrow path that to me, what this means is, and I say this often, everyone can't come through you come can come with you through this new on this new journey. Okay, there isn't enough room, there isn't enough space. And look how the moon is illuminating um, on you. Okay, there's enough room for you and a few people. So pay attention and invest the time and energy into those who love you, care about you. The respect is mutual. The the consideration and the kindness um, is mutual for you. It is also beneficial to you as well. Okay, you want to be in places where you're celebrated and not tolerated. That is the theme for this month. So what do you need to release? Old emotions. Some of you have been holding on to, whether that is in the past eight weeks, past eight months, past eight years. Okay, so which lets me know that the past eight years, you could be in a, 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 a cycle nine year, which means you're closing out a whole cycle and moving into a universal or a personal year of the number one, which means a new start. And remember, we already have that card here. A new start is coming here for you, right? So what you're... Uh, <clears throat> What your uh, your energy is uh, your energy is during this time is releasing old things, old people, old thoughts, old feelings, letting that go. They can't come. There's not enough room. There's not enough space. You know why? Because everyone has their own destiny. Everyone has are on their own journey, and they they can't come with you during this time here, Pisces. So it's time for you to let that go. And I feel like some of you already know what that is here. Whatever you've been, been investing in time and energy into and it isn't reciprocated, it's definitely time for you to let that go. Two of Wands energy here. This is a new start as I'm looking at this. You're seeing things clearly. You're seeing things differently. Your life is looking different. It's going to be looking different. And so you know that things that you thought about or limitations that you placed on yourself that's no more because this the it's like the playing field is so wide it's so vast and there's so much that you're going to be accomplishing and doing in on this new journey okay your pisces so that is what you need to release are the thoughts the emotions and the people who no longer align with your present your current energy and the energy that you're walking into the world is yours, Pisces, Pisces, and I feel like you have it here in your hand. Some of you know exactly what you need to do with it, and some of you are fearing that. But remember, you're the strongest person I know. Don't fear facing your weakest moments. Face them head on, okay? So don't be afraid of failure and get out there and do it is what, what your guides and angels are saying here. All right, so... 
what you need to open yourself up to. Let's see what's coming up for you. Well, your guide said a new start. So something new. Something new for Pisces is what you need to open yourself up to. So that could be a new job, a new opportunity in some sort of way, new friendships, a new relationship. You don't have to do things like you used to do that. Ten of Swords and then the Queen of Swords here. So things that felt heavy and overwhelming and you feel like it left you depleted. It left you with nothing. And it's like it feels like people are have moved on. People are doing their thing, living their life. And it's like, oh, here's Pisces debilitated because of all of all of the things they gave out, all of the advice, all of the love, all of the compassion, the consideration, um, whatever you have given out, Pisces, it's like it has left you depleted. And it's like, who cares about me right now? <laughs> you know, those people you have to let go, of, you have to let go of, you've poured into them and they've left you with nothing like the vampire. So now it's some of you are clearing out your space, clearing out your friend circles, releasing family members as well right because that you know not all family is you know there isn't always an attachment to blood family okay we do have a chosen family as well but even our chosen plant family right now Pisces things are just looking different I feel like you're not investing the amount of time and energy into people that you used to you're now pouring that energy into yourself or at least recognizing that you need to pour that energy into yourself. And that's exactly what you're planning to do here. Queen of Swords taking care of yourself. That's the most important here. And I do feel like some of you want to have to boss up, set boundaries, and also speak up for yourself because too many people have taken away from you. That's what that feels. So this is time for your start. You need to open yourself up to this new energy because there is, there are blessings that are on the way for you Pisces. We also have the Princess of Pentacles. New ideas that are coming up for you. This could be people entering into your entering into your space, giving you um giving you ideas, providing you with 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 money or opportunities for financial growth. But I do feel there's a lot that is changing for you. Look how lush this is. As soon as you set your clear boundaries and you don't let people take from you as they did before, and now you're aware of it, I begin. I, you begin to grow in so many ways. Some of you are growing um, spiritually, financially, mentally. So I feel like there's a lot of clarity here, but there is an offer that could be coming in for you that can change the trajectory of your life. So that could be a financial opportunity for you, whether that be in a new career or a job, a, a promotion for some of you, starting a new business. Spirit is saying to be open. That's all I'm hearing is to be open. So make sure that you're not so fixated on it has to be this way. That's part of you setting boundaries with yourself and not and and not letting yourself fall into this mentality again of I'm putting in all the time and work and energy into this and it's not working. Oh, I'll just, I'll just give up. Okay. And there's no giving up here. Whatever this is, there is, is going to be abundant. It's going to be prosperous, but spirit is saying to be open. So this could mean that you can go into a new industry or something or you can something that you've been doing maybe you stop doing it and you or you move into something else but it comes back around again so it feels like it, it bounces you off your journey it takes you off your journey for a quick second because there's a lesson that you need to learn and then you're able to um, return back to your passion your love whatever that is so just keep an open mind is what spirit is saying here all right so let's see Something, something that wants to manifest, something that wants to manifest for you, uh, communication wants to manifest, Let's see what else is coming up, what wants to manifest for Pisces. We have the Eight of Swords, we also have the Fool, and we have the Nine of Cups energy here. All right. 
So these thoughts that you've been holding on to, some of you have been holding on to things that maybe you have not even shared with anyone else, secrets, whatever. Spirit is saying to let that go. That is not yours to keep, okay? Secrets, holding on to secrets for, for, for other people builds this container in you that <laughs> it's not even meant for you. So it, it's, it's like you're holding on to something for someone else and the question is why? Why are you holding on to that energy? Because that's basically what it is, what Spirit is saying, is to let that energy go. So whether you need to talk about it with someone or you need to tell someone how you feel, Spirit is asking you to let that go. Communication is the key for you during this new moon phase. And I feel like you'll have a fresh start. It's almost like you'll, it's like, it's like a weight lifted off of your shoulders when you let go of what it is that you've been holding on to. And again, this could be show up in the form of people or a job. Or again, I'm feeling secrets for some of you or just some of these thoughts that you're holding on to that is definitely time to let to let that go. And I feel like a weight's going to be lifted off of your shoulders and I feel like you come into this nine of cups energy where you're feeling content and happy and relieved and very light as well as what I'm feeling. So communication is going to be key for you. That's what you're trying to manifest. Something that wants to manifest is letting go. And some of you are needing to heal some things. Some of you just simply need to let go of things. But that's the most important things of holding on to fears, secrets, lies. Um, I'm, I'm even hearing things that people have said uh, to you or about you holding on you're holding on to that and it's time for you to let go you know exactly who you are Pisces okay and you know the yes we are all flawed but in the grand scheme of things Pisces you give so much of yourself and I don't think people that goes unnoticed sometimes because people are used to Pisces doing that for them and when it's taken away then you're the one that is bad mouth. <laughs> but I think you have to let that go. And because you're so sensitive and in empathic, and I, I sound like the world right now, but that sensitivity, I mean, very empathic. You you can pick up on people's emotions and, you know, you, you can hold on to things, be a container for other people. It's time for you to let that go so that you can really stop blocking your blessings. Okay, so that's what's trying to manifest for you during this new moon phase is a level of communication, whether you're needing to talk to someone or just let things go. And your last card here is how can you best focus your intentions during this Aquarius new moon? We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have, I'm going to turn this up right, we have the Ace of Pentacles and then we have the King of Cups, which is definitely your energy here. So you can best focus your intentions by knowing that abundance and prosperity is on your side. A new opportunity is coming in, a new opportunity to live a different life. I'm also hearing some of you may be relocating. So you can be relocating um, to another job. You can be relocating and changing your residence. So I'm feeling that as well. That could be coming up for you. But there is an opportunity for a change that looks really, really bright. And I feel like you're going to conquer this. You're going to feel victorious. You're going to feel very sure of this. This King of Cups is like, I am very, very confident. I'm very confident in where I'm going and what I provide. And um, Spirit is saying that, you know, things are, are definitely opening up for you. I definitely feel like you're going to be in a place of letting go of people, things, and thoughts that no longer align with you and there's going to be I feel like there's going to be a lot of chatter okay that is coming up for you a lot of chatter could be in your mind or a little chatter a lot of chatter behind you you see how the people are behind him it's almost like they're his servants in a way so you're going to be leaving people behind in there leaving them in their emotions because I feel like they're behind in the water leaving them in their emotions and their turbulence and you're like I can't help you anymore OK, so people are going to people are always turning to you, Pisces, for the good advice and for the love and for the compassion. But now when you're pouring into yourself, when you leave that energy behind, people are going to be looking, people are going to be talking about you, these things. But I feel like it's not even going to affect you anymore. OK, Six of Cups is also here. Um, this is things for people from the past. 
that may be trying to revisit things that are resurfacing but I, I definitely feel like Pisces there are a lot of things that you have to let go of because there's a lot of fear that's coming up for you and your energy and that fear is due to past things past people past situations it has nothing to do with where you're going so shedding that letting go of that is going to bring up you a brighter brighter future okay Pisces so that is your new moon in Aquarius reading thank you all for tuning in be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're looking for additional zodiac readings your sun moon and rising or your rising I should say your mooning, your rising signs, your Venus signs. Go out, go ahead and check out my other tarot channel where I do all the zodiacs there at Omnipresent Tarot. You can do at OP Tarot and you'll find me there. All right. Enjoy this new moon in Aquarius. Be sure to like this video, comment below if this resonates with you and like and share with your family and friends. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks Pisces for tuning in. Love you guys. Peace.